patiently waiting for the stream of faith which brings life forever. So there it is, a simple system. What's actually taking place is the the fish, uh, 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 um, happy fish produce lots of, of ammonia, a byproduct, waste product. And the ammonia um, it, it, it travels up the big pipe, uh, the small pipe. It goes through a heavy particle separation system, which is in one side, we'll show you this later. Um, and then it, it is returned through bacteria bacteria actually in this filter bed because that's that's what it is it, is um, is turning the ammonias into nitrates nitrates i mean oxygenization would turn these into nitrates from the air finally so yeah the the plants which will be planted in here eventually they, they will remove the nitrate um, from the uh, from the water therefore cleaning the water again and making the fish even happier. So yeah, simple bell siphon technique. It looks more complicated when you look at it, but once you get them up and running, it'll be quite simple to use. Now, the fish are the most important thing. Um, you, the, the, you need to understand about keeping fish. They're not difficult to keep. Um, and, and the same um, test you would be doing, um, often are very, very similar to what you would be doing if you're in hydroponics. So, if you've, you've got any knowledge of any form of growing fruit and vegetables, this is a massive jump for you. If you've got a pond and you already keep fish and you understand that this is also a massive jump. And if, if, you've, if you have some form of bacterial filter, even a small one working in a, a tropical fish tank inside your house, this, this is also a massive jump. This is not new technology. All these systems um, have been around for a long time. Placing these together is the win-win situation. As you can see the water's cleared up immensely. Fish are quite happy. The second uh, of our two tanks on this system is is in. Also working on the auto siphon, the bell siphon. And the top tank, no change there, just the same. We did put a couple of a few lettuce seeds in, I don't think you'll be able to see those. But that's just starting to show uh, ones that we actually started indoors. Um, they're easy, <laughs> pretty obvious. So we have got a few bits in it. So there we go, that's the, uh, the system so far. I've added a spray bar, a larger pump. I added uh, a manifold, simple manifold, which is now feeding the the spray bar and this overflow on here just to regulate the pressure and the top tank and the bottom tank. I'll just show you these seeds in the top. We've had the first frost warnings today in the UK. It's just lettuce. Just wanted to get some going in it. I've ordered some more seeds, uh, winter winter veg seed heavy particles um, and by this um, the, the heavy ammonias and, and un, unused fish food and stuff and they start to get into the grow beds um, they can build up a toxicity uh, in sections so you'll get stuff growing and then stuff not growing and stuff uh, and also for cleaning and stuff so um, what I've actually done is just open the drain what I've actually done is uh, I didn't mention it it's really simple really this is the filter okay so it's just a piece of normal filter medium yeah, uh, a strip of it cut um, cable tie piece of plastic tubing um, and then you slide it in the end just, uh, just pop it in the end like that now when you make these this this here has got the the, the, the tank fitting that comes inside so that filter now the end of the filter sticks in the end of the sticks in the end of, of, of the tank fitting inside so it's really simple to do sometimes you have to kind of give it a bit of a, a jiggle before it fits in place so there it is that was stocking 
um, the larger particles. Now, okay, maybe you haven't got a, um, a manifold, you haven't built a manifold, um, um, or maybe you haven't got one. So, so what you can do is um, simply stack up, stack up filter medium. So there's a filter, three of them there, are stacked together. Um, and as you can see, oh, I just pulled that. Look at that radish. Yeah, I'll just pull the radish out. Here we go. And a lot of rain in Manchester this week, so we've actually had to fit a maximum level. Should have been there in the first place. This is this pipe here. Just so we have an overflow, basically. <laughs> Fish thought it was feeding time. Uh, so yeah, um, we've, we've had to fit this. The, uh, the water, every rain, took a few casualties. Some of the seedlings have, have been bashed. Uh, you may remember this radish. Pulled it out and finger on one of the previous videos. Transplanted it in here. And now he's doing better than all the rest. So um, These, obviously, we transplanted. Now, they look like they're doing okay. Until you compare with the ones in the vertical growth. This has been our major success, I would say. I've added this week the UV filter. We've uh, cleaned up the yard a little bit. Have a quick look at the yard. The uh, terracotta pots I showed you in the previous video are now connected up. In the moment they're just running off this barrel. This barrel I will use, but I'm going to place it on this side of the wall and then it will feed out of this one. The other pipe on the other side is just an overflow and there's the, the U, might be a bit of a long U but there's a U cipher which is now, all these are all plumbed together. I've used um, a sealant for the inside of the terracotta pots, the same sealant you would use for sealing concrete pools, same as we used in here, it's a clear one, this is a black one, if you are going to make a concrete pool, do seal it, doesn't matter how much water you run through it, it will still leach. Salts will leach out of the concrete, out of the cement that you're using, and uh, we'll get a few through it. So, you want to seal it. It's not expensive to seal it, but the amount of time and effort you put into it, always worth sealing. And these seals, this has been on here over 10 years, way over 10 years, as you can see. It's, it, it, they're, they're good stuff. Uh, it's G4, is the one I use. There's various glass glass to another one. So, the whole idea of this side of the yard is so it, it won't look like. Um, a sewage plant. Do <laughs> you get my point? All the plastic piping and everything. It's a working system. This side, it was all going to be hidden away, hopefully, you won't be able to see. Our meter square vertical grow and place it where that one was. So there'll be a meter square on that wall. This has been under test for a period of time, it's not on now. Just took it off. It's just draining out through here. Really simple. Really simple. So it's all ready to go, it's one complete unit. You can see it all just moved together as well. Just need to unscrew it from here and fasten it up on the wall there and remove that one. Over the last few days. She's still in there, <laughs> and they're still feeding actually, which is pretty amazing. Got the uh, floating raft. So, very spectacular icicles. <laughs> and in here somewhere is, oh, it's cold. <laughs> there is stuff, you'll have to trust me. Um, we have half frozen cauliflower and kale, and uh, things aren't looking too good on the vertical section. Strike with knowledge, all children. Within I know, I rock is a solid foundation. Jah is our guide. Creation.